but where did you even get the idea to start doing anything with drones? Because you're not even the main pilot, right? Or no, are you? I So I do all of the big drone, uh, exterior drone stuff. So I you am a planes. drone pi- pilot or drone pilot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. the drones are five feet oh, long, okay. like the, that, those big guys that you can put bigger cameras on. But no, the the fancy, we call the fancy unique drones that you see the in, inside of casinos and resorts and restaurants. That's a guy named um, Chris Spangler. He's known as Fluxy. That's what he was. He was on the Drone Racing League uh, on ESPN and NBC. Didn't know that so, was a thing, but that's yep, cool. Yep, it is. Yep, so it's crazy. <laughs> uh, we They took over Allianz Field, the soccer stadium here one, one year, and they did Miami Stadium, and they just rip at about 100 miles an hour. Um, so no, but, um, what, what was the initial question again? I'm sorry. I said, how did you get into doing oh, yeah. that as far as like even wanting to open yeah. a business in that? This is a really funny story actually. So I should tell it. Um, when you're a senior in high school and you don't need the last credit to graduate, you pick an elective like photography. Yeah. <laughs> I never showed up and I failed photography, which is sort of ironic right now and, and video class. So, um, but I never thought you're right. I never thought I'd be in video or drones like i wasn't in robotics i wasn't in anything like that um and like i said this airviews company came about and they asked me to start in marketing because they knew i would be good at that and then into eventually media relations but i started flying drones as soon as i worked for this company we got we each got a drone as part of our like sign-on bonus and like these things are pretty cool and the cameras just got better the equipment got better and and then all of a sudden, like I said, let's let's fast forward a year after that. And I went back to my home where there is a lot in Brainerd area where there's a lot of golf courses and resorts and, and lake life. And people just started paying for it. And then this kid came to me. He was a senior in high school and he said, hey, I'm, I'm in, into video. And I'm like, OK, kid, let's see what you can do. And I gave him a bunch of my footage. I at that time through Airviews and in the beginning of Blaze Air, I had been to. Um, some major league baseball stadiums and connections, stuff like that. So I had some really cool travel stuff for a reel that I never would had time to do. So I gave it to him and he blew me, like blew my mind. And I'm like that when I, I, before we had, we'd started, we'd said some of it comes down to luck. And I, and I mean that as like, I got lucky. This kid came, walked yeah. into my office that day. Sure. And now what are we f- almost six years later? He is my business partner, 10 times smarter than me, 11 years younger than me <laughs> and, uh, and could, and could take over a room as well. Yeah, but you guys are kind of a perfect balance, the little bit that I know about you, of like the biggest problem with artists are they're too modest, they don't know how to sell themselves. They think if they make good stuff, people will just find it. It's like, Mm -hmm. not really. Mm -hmm. Like the biggest people in the world, the biggest athletes, the biggest brands still advertise even if they have the best product. Right. Because you still have to get in front of people. So the sales side is just as important or more so than what the product side is. Not right. that the product doesn't matter, but it's just, that's a huge part of it, yeah. right? Like you look at you guys making drone videos for the Hard Rock Cafe or like mm-hmm. uh, the Hard Rock Casino. There are other people that can fly drones that sure. could do that, Yep. right? But yep. they select you, why? Because you reach out, you make the connection mm-hmm. and you secure that sale. That's a huge part of the job, yep. like for a reason. So, but why, when you do interviews, my, what I hate doing is the editing. Mm-hmm. So I want to just send this afterwards like you do. <laughs> I hate editing. So why did you even contact that company in the first place about doing that when you sure. were already in front of the camera? What did you was it like a, I'm, I need to make more side money or like why did you even get a hold of them anyways? It was actually through another connection for just for fun and just to like meet artists which um, and get into a whole different industry. We had started doing a show in a music festival in Brainerd called Lakes Jam. And that year they had uh, three doors down um, and a couple country artists that I could not tell you who they were. Um, but, and, and we got into this and I'm like, Hey, I've got this kid, Sam now, you know, and he at the time was, uh, he had to be about probably he was just graduating high school that year, I think. So, um, I'm like, let's see what he can do in the field with an actual camera. And he, he, he's shown what he can do in editing. Let's see if we can make the, a business out of it. Cause we had so many people call us actually for ground video too, but I could only offer drone. So, bringing that in. And then I saw what he did at this music festival and they saw, and one of the former owners of it had a connection at Circa in Las Vegas. And that's how we got into the the casino scene and that hard rock. Yeah. We threw that Circa video out everywhere. We were the first ever to fly a drone in a live casino, like not, not actors or anything. Um, and then hard rock, I can't tell you how, um, happy I am. They're a client. They're so cool to work with. And yeah, but you're right. It was, it was outreach. We had to say, and I'm very, like, I talk a lot and I like talking about myself a little bit, but not in that factor. Like I didn't want to like 
like flex and be like, we were the first ever to do this. I wanted our product to sell, but you sometimes, like you said, you just have to flex a little bit. Yeah, it's part of it. And you have to be okay with people shooting it down. It's an mm-hmm. evolving industry, 